Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the rather bizarre Katie or Catty in Meow Meow Land. Now this was developed by Art Hillary, published by Blowfish Studios and is available to you for just £9.99 slash $14.99 from the old US of A. So this can only be described as someone who genuinely took at least one of each drug ever in the known land and drew some characters and made up a story because this genuinely is so bizarre. But at the same time, it's actually really cool and funny and you'll finish it scratching your head thinking what just happened. Uh, quite happily though, as you will gain an easy 1,000 in your gamer score account. Now as for achievements, the majority are very easy. You've got to light up 20 matches, complete puzzles, got a bunch of story related ones, find and collect six hidden gems and six eyes, but there is a speedrun achievement for beating the game in 90 minutes. That's one and a half hours. Uh, although luckily, pausing the game doesn't seem to keep the counter going. And also, if you do take too long on one level, you can actually just restart that level. And that appears to not count towards the counter too. So, good couple of things can help us out there. Either way, it's fun. It's nuts. Uh, <laughs> some of the characters are, well, you'll just see. And it's a nice hour and a half completion, as I said. So, with that being said, then, let us begin. So, again, try not to waste any time. Uh, any time. We're going to press and hold the A button as we begin a new game to skip this cutscene. And then we're just going to go straight into it. And, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can already see what's going to happen. Have a look at the cat's butthole on the left. Um, it's going to be incredible relief for that cat, I'm telling you. Uh, as we... Easily smooch out of him, kind of like Jim Carrey in that one Ace Ventura scene. It's, uh, yeah, it's very bizarre to say the least. But a lot of the time, this point-and-click adventure, we will just be clicking a lot of stuff to basically uh, just go through to the, another scene. So, clicking certain things like the flowers and the worm there don't really do anything. So, what you have to do is click the ice cube um, on the left, drag the trumpet over to the right, and then um, press that again to wake the ice cube up. And then what you need to do is hold and drag him over to the left. And for some reason, that means we can... Oh, oh we're just... Uh, we're just going to play with the cat's butthole for a minute. Not often you're probably going to say that in your entire lifetime. But, of course, this is one of my videos. So, well, you'll be expecting that. But I didn't expect that so soon. So, you'll get your first adventure called... Uh, achievement called Adventurer. That is just for completing the tutorial. Even though this whole thing will basically be a tutorial. Because you've got no idea what's going on. So... What we have to do then, don't worry about clicking the guy with the ice cream, we're going to click the flying trumpet thing. And that's going to get this thing on a lamppost. Click him again. And then what we can do is interact with the bottom left right there. Uh, use the cat and he's going to start licking <laughs> that ice cream. Lick them balls, buddy. Right, grab the red, uh, the, the red glasses just next to the cat and put them on the thing on the lamppost. That's going to somehow melt the ice cream. And now he is, <laughs> the cat's going to pull the lever. That would be good for us. Now we can grab the key from underneath him, drag it over to the left, and grab this. I don't know, I don't even know what the hell that is supposed to be. Drag it over to the right, and then uh, press the A button to pump it up. Stick the balloon on the 0 0.16 tonned weight, and there we go. We are good to go. So click on the flying thing once again to get the lamppost guy down. Drag and hold this over to the right there, just next to the trumpet. And then what you have to do is interact and press the trumpet to scare off that that thing. A lot of things are going to be called things, because I have no idea what these things are. Now just drag and hold Katie over to the right until she is just on the uh, pad, the platform pad. Press the blue button just underneath Katie. And off we go. So a lot of, a lot of times... It, it, this is in terms of the speedrun achievement now. So there's going to be a lot of times where I'm, you know, taking sort of 5-10 seconds to uh, whatever there is the hell that I'm doing. So it's quite lenient on time. But again, if you do feel like you've stuck too long on a puzzle, just press the start button and restart the level and just go again. The levels are obviously fairly short, um, but that is a just in case. Because you don't want to be playing the whole game again since... What the hell's going on? So there's going to be this whole bit of cutscene. Uh, these <laughs> cutscenes are obviously unskippable. As we are now with a giant putty cat. So I do have a little potter around right here. Not sure if these are actually totally necessary. I just interact with the vase there on the right. Um, the giraffe candle. 
um, on the top right hand corner as well. Again, not sure if we need to interact with these just yet, but we will in a moment. But what we actually need to interact with is the tree on the left, and then we need to interact with the snake. So he's going to tip that down so we can actually click on the ball and drag that down. And you know who likes balls? Apart from a lot of people, kitty cats. But what we're going to do is interact that with the snake. And he's basically going to kind of drag so drag it up to the snake. And he's going to turn into a big ball himself. And when he's all frazzled, McJazzled, drag him over to the cat. The cat's going to finally get down what it turned out not to be a $20 bill. It's a big fan thing. So interact and click with the fan thing. Now this is where we're going to get the missable achievement called Pyromaniac. And that is for just lighting up 20 matches. So this chunky boy on a skateboard, again for some reason on a skateboard, is going to throw us over some matches. What you need to do is just grab a match and just keep fanning it towards the cat. Or keep dragging it towards the cat. And then obviously what that cat's going to do is blow him out. That's fine. That's what we need. So we just need to literally light up 20 matches. So as quick as you can, just smash out all 20 matches towards the cat. And then as soon as we get the achievement, we'll be on our way. Did I just hear a dog come out of that cat's ass, by the way? <laughs> well, it's all fun. All fun and games, right? Right, as soon as the achievement unlocks, go around the cat over to the left and interact it with the giraffe. That is, uh, as it turns out, that's a, an alive giraffe, so you've just basically burned in a, a, a giraffe alive. So, again, if you love animals, well, <laughs> you're not going to enjoy this bit. You're going to crap your pants at it, basically. So drag another candle over to him. And then, eventually... He's just gonna he's just gonna remain on fire. Well oh he's gonna lick himself out. Wait. Anyway, uh, we're going to interact with the cat's watch. Again, some of these look pointless, but they do come in handy. Uh, so he's just gonna have a little sniff, and then what's gonna happen? We can just drag the giraffe over to the pipe magipe. Pipe magipe, that's not a thing. Just over to the pipe. The, uh, the cat's going to be happy. Starts smoking his whatever that is. Little cap's going to appear. And then we can just go ahead and drag that. Uh, in fact, we're going to get another achievement, actually, as soon as we click on the snake. And then we can drag the cap over. We will get the achievement called Pacifist for carefully getting rid of the snake. So, uh, again, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Um, let's, well, you can light the snake on fire as well. That's a, one way you can do it. Um, but that is for getting rid of the snake peacefully, getting the pacifist achievement. We can just skip the cutscene here. Of course, speedrun. I don't know why Dev's putting speedrun. I personally don't like speedrun achievements. That's just my personal thing. I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. Especially if you end up missing it out by a minute or two. Man, that really grinds your gears, right? Right, what we have to do then? See the green ball that we just picked up on the fountain? Just drag it down. We have to basically find a total of eight balls. So, interact with the cat, fairy cat thing. That reveals another bow. So, grab that over. Interact with the... Um, what are we going to do next? We're going to interact with the bucket, I believe. Yes, just interact with that bucket. And another green ball pops out. So, again, just drag that over to the middle fountain. Next, uh, on the left-hand side, a hand comes out, but we actually need to grab the cat to it. So have a look at the top right hole. Yeah. And we are going to get another green ball as soon as he stops. Stop. There we go. So drag that one down as well. Now, what you need to do next is interact with that top right hole again. That is the first out of six eyes that you need to interact with. So you actually have to click it twice for the eye to appear. Click it again for it to disappear. That's the first out of six. So interact with that uh, right hole. And then interact with the worm. He's going to start getting his knickers and his hat in a twist. Grab the left hand from the top right hole. And then just stick, drag the cat, stick it over. Um, and basically, we've been a good boy for getting rid of cats. So, that's, uh, <laughs> that's nasty. So, that's another ball there. Interact with the left hole to get, rid, to get this pirate with a cannon out. Then just interact with the um, fish 
pirate thing a couple of times and eventually he's going to whap his hat up and that is where the next green ball is there it is so drag the hat up grab the ball so that should be seven out of eight and the last one we need is from his cannon so there's going to be a bit of another <laughs> unskippable cutscene. uh nothing in the mushrooms there i was just taking a little look around um but he's going to pop back out basically with his cannon as soon as you interact with the hole, of course. So make sure to interact with that. And then they're going to start throwing some crap at each other. Until he fires a green ball right in the worm's direction. That is what you... You don't want to be living in between that. That is... Uh, well, <laughs> well, that's it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude! Brun nearly knocked him out. Anyway, there's the cannon. That's the money shot we need. So make sure to go ahead and grab the next ball. That will do. And that is that is basically the end of the level now. Um, yeah. So again, restart the level if you think you're taking too long on things. Oh, in fact, we're almost done. We've got a, one more thing to do here. Grab the hook that appeared. Drag it over to the uh, cannon just underneath the cannon and the rope. And then when the worm finally decides to chill out. We'll just, uh... Oh, the worm with the money shot right there. God damn. Fish pirate is dead. Right, grab the mushroom, put it on the hook. And then now you can drag Katie over. And now it's the end of the level. So, well done, worm. That was, um... I mean, you managed to survive a cannon shot and threw a mushroom at his head. Again... Pff, yeah, your guess is as good as mine, really. And we are now at yet another trumpet nose thing. So if you actually interact with him, what you can see is a blue, like, pebble, blue, blue stone, or whatever it is. Basically, we need that. So what we need to do is grab the blue flask, which is just at the, uh, at the very right. We can't interact with the lever or anything yet. We have to grab this flask, drag it over to Katie, so she goes nuts. Drag it over to Rainbow Boy, so he goes nuts. And then click on Katie's legs. And for some reason, her tall, lanky, unsnappable legs kick him a few times. And click him, and he goes on his merry, merry way. That's us done. Now we can just go ahead, give Katie the blue stone, or pebble, whatever it is. She smashes the lever. We go and click Katie again to go on our merry, merry way. So, if you thought it was bizarre so far, let's get into the more bizarre. So... We can <laughs> drag Katie. Katie's going to jump off. Um, the mushrooms don't do anything, by the way. They're not magic. We're already on the magic mushrooms, apparently. Clicking the blue slimy thing gets rid of this particular leg. Again, God knows why. There is just a random leg just chilling. Um, but after this bit, we can click on the leg. Drag him over to Dwayne Johnson. The old fat Dwayne Johnson there. To reveal a super a pepper pig super potato. Drag that onto the actual blue character. The actual blue slime ball himself. You can't actually do it on his nose. You've got to drag Super Potato on to the blue character. The blue balls. Maybe if anyone's blue balls look like that, go see a doctor, personally. Right, anyway, that's Super Potato in all wrapped up in a neat little package. Wait, I'm not being sarcastic. That's truth. So, interact with Derp Bird right here a couple of times. What we'll have to do as soon as Super, uh, Super Potato gets gone... Or Derp Potato. Now we can click on Derp Bird. Click on him a couple of times. And then click on the Super Potato. Or the... Uh, what's the opposite of Super? Mong Potato? Yeah. Anyway, what we have to do after this bit then. He's obviously not going to be happy. So click on Super Potato once again. Or Moron Potato. And he's just going to kick Derp Bird off. And job's good and... Now he's just chilling, but that gives the rope, that gets us the rope, which is what we need, so we can um, interact with the potato again, but as Katie, we can just drag ourselves down, and we should be good to go. Now, very easy puzzle, this one, just have a look above the door, that is exactly what you need, so the very left switch, drag it all the way up, leave the middle switch as it is at the bottom, drag the right switch all the way up, there's the key, drag it to the door, and away we go! Again, you've actually got to click with and click on Katie and drag her in. Now we are just heading down 
And as you can see, there is another second eye right there, just to the right of us. But that is enough. That's actually not one of the six um, eyes that we need. So what you have to do is just drag the fruit. So click on the eye. So as you can see, there's a mouse up there with a key. But we need to drag this fruit up to the top. And fussy ass isn't going to like that. So we're going to interact with the eye once again. And drag up the next piece of fruit. And apparently, you know, he he eats really well, so he doesn't even want that piece of fruit. Grab another one, and of course, it is the piece of moldy old cheese. That's exactly what they want. He's happy with that. Now we can grab the key off, uh, interact with the gate there, and we can go on our way. So, don't have to interact with the eye. Again, that's not part of the six collectible eyes. So, grab the Dwayne, Fat Dwayne Johnson, the <laughs> Fat Dwayne Johnson head. Click Katie to jump down. God damn. Um... <laughs> And then, again, what we can do is interact with him to get his legs up. Katie's going to kick him off. And then we can just drag her down. Honestly, I, I don't know why it looks like Dwayne Johnson. Maybe it's just the bald head. I don't know. Anyway, interact with just underneath to reveal this bell. And then click on the weird character thing. Uh, grab the bell. Drag it up to the left there by Katie. And for some reason, someone's foot is going to appear. So, stand on the crustiest, toe jammiest foot you will ever stand on. And we can start heading down. Don't worry, Fat Dwayne Johnson Rockhead will will still appear. Um, I don't know what I said. I don't know why it looks like Dwayne Johnson. It just did it. It is the but it is the boldness. It's a, it's a very likable, li it's a very likable thing. Right. So anyway, we can jump down as Katie. We can interact with the derp bird, who has now just gone to the bottom since he's getting pushed off by the Mongo Potato. And now, as Katie, let's just drag ourselves down. Then we've got the, um, what well, kind of looks like that elephant thing from Horton Hears a Who, except way more stupid. So he needs a little snack, so we've got to feed him a couple of things. So, what we need to do then, interact with that little hole in the right wall, and just give that to Katie. He is going to throw, uh, she is going to throw that, and so Dirt Bird and Super Potato both fly off. But Dirt Bird's going to be less derpy and fly over to the left, which will be good for us. We just now need to kick on, uh, click on the potato a couple of times. He's going to walk forward. When he walks back, just click on him again, and uh, eventually he will be eaten. He's not going to be very happy, of course. I wouldn't be like to be eaten, but, well, this is the bizarre land of whatever the hell land we're in, so... <laughs> oh, fuming mace, you got eaten! Right, interact with the worm on the right, and it's apparently it's his crusty, crusty little toe jammed foot which uh, grabbed us. I, I feel dirty, need a shower after that. But anyway, he goes ahead and grabs the Dwayne Johnson fat head. So again, what you have to do is just interact with him, and he's going to be uh, interact with him when he's on the ground as well. And just do the same thing. He's going to get uh, beaten by this weird water elephant thing. Uh, again, just click on him a few times until he gets swallowed whole. <laughs> he apparently looks like a boiled egg, which... Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, he's not wrong. Still, I wouldn't want to say that to Dwayne Johnson's face, because he could literally flick... He literally, literally pick me up and flick me into next week. So, <laughs> when uh, Chunky Dwayne gets... Beaten and eaten again. Interact with the worm and the crusty toe jam on the right. And for the third one, he is going to bring down this weird cookie monster type thing. So again, do the same. Just interact with him. He knows his fate already, though. He is um, as good as eaten, which is unfortunate. But you still have to do the whole click on him a couple of times until he gets beaten, eaten, and sad. <laughs> Whoa, 
And for the final one then, interact with the hole on the right again. And little trumpet's going to play, and this whole little brave uh, puss in boots is going to appear. Again, it's just the same thing here. You're going to interact with him. He's going to get smashed up. And another one's going to come out. And again, just keep clicking on the cat until he gets eaten enough times. And apparently, Horton Years of Who will be good and full. So, when the cat, who apparently is French, <laughs> just joking, France, uh, go over to the left, click on Derp Bird right here. The fish should automatically be there for you. So, again, what you need to do is just interact with the Derpy Boy. And, uh, well, that is as golden as... Oh, my God, he's turned into Angry Bird. Jesus Christ. So, he thinks he's a snack. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Fight! And as it turns out, Dirt Bird is pretty hard, actually. That's one of my favourite characters so far. Not as derpy as one might think. But anyway, that is the end of that level. And now we can just drag Katie a couple of times to move on to the next one. Boy, what is going on in here right now? So how about we do some nursery rhyming? So Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty, when we click on him, we'll have a great fall. All the king's horses, all the king's men. Well, they can't put that crackhead together again because he's on crack. Right, grab a tear drop from the fountain to uh, interact with the tree at the top. Click the tree once to grab an apple. And then with that apple, what we need to do is drag that over to the right-hand side. To get this dude singing. Interact with it again to, to get him a nut. And then drag a tear over to the left one to get the raven rabbits up. When this thing appears, this cat thing, click on the weird cat thing. Everyone's going to have a great time. But more importantly, when we interact with the bottom snake thing there, a key is going to appear, which we can grab and open the gate. But also, the first out of six hidden gems. So make sure to grab that hidden gem before leaving. So that should be one out of six hidden gems. Obviously, plus the key. So that is us done. Right, on to the next piece of bizarreness. Big giant plate, weird shy cat, big fat... Well, at least we've got to sit down, so... Life is on the up and up. Alright, you can interact with it. Basically, there might be a couple of eyes that appear on that left-hand side tree, but they don't, again, count towards the uh, six collectible eyes, so don't panic about hitting that one. Now, in some of these levels, they actually seem timed. So, I do interact with the bird. Again, I don't think it makes a difference. Um, but what we have to do is, at the top of where the hat is... At the top of the hat of the cat, where little old um, dildo head is just uh, flopping his head about for a minute, there is a bell. So as soon as he whips up the hat, grab the bell, drag it down to the cat's collar, and then you actually need to ring that uh, bell a couple of times. Um, or just once, you just need to interact with it once. Again, with the eyes on the left-hand side, I do interact with them. Again, I'm not sure if it makes a whole lot of difference. Which you'll find a lot of in this game. So interact with them anyway uh, when you see them on the left hand side tree. Now when you grab this bottle of oil. All you actually have to do is use it on the left hand side tree. To get little cockheads or big cockhead apparently. His hat out. Um, but again this is one of those games that doesn't really tell you sort of what to do. Where to go whatever. But when you use the bottle of oil on the left hand side tree. When it regrows back in just a couple of seconds. You're going to get cockheads out. Hat back out, and there we go. So now we just need to drag that over, cover up that horrible thing. Although, I bet you can pull quite a few women with that one, to be fair. Well, and men. And, well, whoever whoever likes that kind of size. Um, but anyway, when we have done that, Cat is going to give this cake. This basically uh, lar uh, enlarges everything. Uh, but there is only one, one or two particular things that we have to do. Um, we have to... Use the cake on the right-hand side tree. I believe that whips out the uh, old cockhead's uh, magic wand or stick or something. But we also need to do it on the cup as well to move on. So using it on that tree gets rid of the bird. And as you can see, the magic wand appears or the walking stick or cane. So drag it over to cockend as well. And he's having a great time. Taps his hat three times. And again, magically appears a bottle of 
milk out of his cock end. Use it on the plate, the milk. Very questionable milk, I'll give it that. Like, this shy cat will appear. Drink all the questionable milk. <laughs> Extremely questionable. Especially on that floppy thing, I have no idea what's going on. He coughs up a hairball. Now what we can do, this actually turns people into things and turns them alive. So, cat turns into horse donkey. Uh, tree turns into crocodile. Cockhead turns into peanut head. With, still with the cock in his head. And when we drag it over to us, we turn into a, a questionable thing once again. But actually, all we need to do, we can... <laughs> it's... <laughs> You don't actually need to do this. Literally, all you have to do is just drag the hairball over to the cup. Click on the cup to get it walking. And that is what gets us going. Um, again, apolog I do apologize that I didn't just go straight with the teacup there. I literally just wanted to show you very quickly what, <laughs> what these things turn into. But it is only the teacup that we need to turn into. Click on the teacup in order to, for us to go. Right, now this is a timed puzzle um, in terms of there are three little stones in front of us. They turn into pillars for us to climb up. But if you take too long on one lever, for instance, one of them goes down and, yeah, you have to do that. So, um, this is one I did actually restart the level on a couple of times. So, what we have to do then is interact with the worm on top of the tree. That gets rid of the broccoli. Um, interact with that and that gets the big green bugger thing to go to sleep so interact with this lever then when the lego piece appears on the right there we go there it is drag the lego piece give that to katie she's going to throw that and then we can interact with the lever on the top left and then use the stone to knock this guy out use the lever on the bottom there that gets rid of there and then the top right lever and then we can just drag katie to go up so basically doing a bit of blocking before moving on. So now just click on the um, cat's paw. Katie's going to jump over. Sometimes it gets a bit finicky here. For some reason, I kept accidentally closing the bloody thing. Um, so just take your time, drag Katie over, and then we are into the next area. Into the next area, there is an achievement for completing a puzzle under 30 seconds, but it is very easy. Um, so eventually... And again, I've got to apologise. This game is sort of face... Because of the speedrun achievement, it's kind of fast-paced, so I'm trying to explain everything and as we go. Right, interact with the bottom middle cat twice, then the top right one a further two times, and then the one above Katie a further two times, and that is how you get the genius achievement. So then we can interact with the tongue, and there is also going to be a hidden, uh, a hidden eye in here and another missable achievement. And that missable achievement is easy enough. All we have to do is just quick as you can, interact with all of these little cat statues. Doesn't matter what order. All we have to do is hear um, 100 cat meows. So literally, just as quick as you can, go through each one. Or you can just keep spamming the A button on the same one, whatever. But just keep spamming the A button on all of these cats until you get the achievement for hearing 100 meows. Oh man, god damn. And the achievement will be coming up. Again, if you didn't get either of these two achievements, or for whatever reason you think you've taken too long, again, of course, you can restart the level and uh, you can just try again. So, no panicking about that, but as soon as we have the Meows for Days achievement, click on the ear, he'll bugger off. Just above the door is going to be the second eye. Pink eye, it's called, because this game is that funny. Uh, so, again, click on the eye once and then click on it again to disappear in order for it to count. And then just drag KD over to the left, and we can go through the deepest, moistest cave you'll never ever know. Mad to think, isn't it? That's how you were all born, just going through a big dark black hole uh, before inevitably ruining your parents' lives because that's what all babies were designed to do. It's just it's just part of nature. 
until they grow up and as long as you didn't kill anyone and stuff you should be all good right <laughs> anyway i'm just joking babies are cool and cute and stuff right third pink guy is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen just above the mushrooms there so make sure to grab that now we can interact with the lever little puzzle here so interact with that one chain and that's going to drop this little weight drag it over to the left hand side chain next we can drag that chain down again click on the weight and then drag it to the middle one drag that one down again that's going to open up the gate but before moving on interact with the lever once more and this hidden gem will appear so click on that one twice and that is the next hidden gem done right get your katie and get out of here or into the next bit this is where we're going to get another achievement but this one is story related we're going to fix the radio um because there is one beautiful mama pig with teeth that would, I mean, they would impale you, wouldn't they? You would not like to be omnommed by that one. Right, so we can interact with it if you want, but what we actually need to do is interact with the um, middle, basically the middle, top middle hole. Um, and that gets rid of um, an instrument, or brings one down for us. Brings one down for us, sorry. Drag it over to Katie, she's going to try and wake up the impaler, or the gurner. She looks like she's had a hell of a night herself. Still hungover. Bless her. Uh, right, again, click on the hole. Use the trumpet. That does not work. I mean, normally it's a McDonald's or KFC. That'll snap me right out of a sleepy hangover. But anyway. So, click on the hole again. Radio's going to pop down. What we need to do is click on the panel twice on the radio there to fix it and then open it. Now we need to grab the on button, which is directly in front of Katie. So drag that up to the radio. Then, just by Katie's feet, is the first knob. Over on the bottom right-hand corner is the next knob. So drag that over. And just to where that other knob was is the antenna. So click that on the radio. Chuck the battery in. But before closing the panel, interact with the light bulb. And that's going to get this thing, globby, bluey, whatever that is thing. We just need to turn the plug off. Hey, get out of it. Uh, right, so we interact with him twice. Plugs off. Put the light bulb on the radio. Now we can close the panel. Turn on the radio. Now, all you have to do is just interact with the left button until it goes all the way to the right-hand side. That wakes up the old glob monster. Man, she is definitely worth a pull at 3 a.m. when you're absolutely off your nut bag, isn't it? Um, and then you wake up in the morning like, Damn, girl! <laughs> you actually kind of fit. I like those impaler teeth. So just interact with the left knob until it goes all the way to the right there. And then she's going to come back and, and say, like, Oh, remember that night out? Well, I'm actually pregnant. Uh, interact with the Kermit the Frog doll or whatever that is, and off she goes. She's like, I'll be back. I'll be back for your alimony. Or, you know, your child benefits and stuff. That's for a whole other story, anyway. So, when we click on Katie, we end up going. And, um... Well... We'll basically say we'll give her a text, but we never will. That's it's not. That's just part of life. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, right. <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm a bad man. Right. So what we have to do then? You don't have to do anything with this rope just yet. Interact with the bottom right corner hole to get out this thing who starts globbing the lipstick on her. Interact with the left thing to get a stone, and drag that all the way over to Katie. She's going to give that a good lob. And this, I believe it's a cat when we interact with the hole. This weird long cat's going to come out. Nice eyelashes, though. Very nice. Right, to drag the lipstick from the woman thing on the right, give it to the cat. Whole bunch of things going to come out, including a sock and an eyeball for some reason. All we have to do is click on each item and just drag them ones down. So drag it down, drag it down. But not this. This uh, little crank. We need to do this and use it on a couple of things. So, drag it over to the top left, just above the cat's head, and interact with that. That's going to open up this hole. And we can now drag the crank, drag it to the bottom. And that gets rid of this cannon, or brings it out for us, even. Now drag it to just above the cannon, on the left-hand side. That's going to get something else, just at the bottom there. Another little bit of cannon. So, interact with that. And then we can drag Katie down. She can actually now stand on the cannon. Cannony cannon. Drag the rope, bring it over to the cannon. And now we can drag the crank, drag it over to the top right hand corner, interact with that. And we've got oh our little buddy there, old cat bag. So click on clack cat bag, grab a match, and interact with the cannon once more, the little rope, and that is uh 
Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You've been shot in the ass. Oh my god, not again. So then after skipping those couple of cutscenes, we are just at another point where we think what in the nutbags is actually going on. So first things first, we're going to interact with the cat. And then we can interact with him again and he's just going to have a little lick, but that's not important right now. It interact with the bubble and then gra quickly grab that bubble and drag it over to the mosquito. So again, if you miss it, don't worry, I'm sure you can just click on the bubble again. Drag the mosquito over and, well, we've basically just done a trade. So, grab the flower from the bottom left just by the frog, drag it on the stem. And then drag the scissors. Grab it over to the left-hand side pedal, that cuts that one. Now what we have to do is grab the blue pebble, or the blue stone, on the very right-hand side. And use it on the big leaf there. So we need to basically weigh it down. So grab the stone, there it is. Chuck it on the leaf. That drags that down, and now we can grab the teardrop, use it on the stem, just on the uh, just to the left right there, drag it down, and there's another one sort of on the pineapple, drag another tear over to the left hand side for another flower, and drag it over to the left hand side again, so you should have two on the left, three on the right, and then what you can do is just drag those bits of flowers and put it on the big stem right in the middle next to Katie right there, so again that should be two on the left and three on the right. And when that's open, you can now interact with it. Don't worry about interacting with the frog yet. You need to now grab the scissors in order to open up said... Well, that's pretty much a coconut, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a coconut. Grab the scissors again to open up the definitive coconut this time around. That is a definite coconut. Next, we can use it on the teardrop on the right-hand side, just where the cat is. Interact with the cat. Now he's going to lick that and be like, God damn, that's some good milk, bruh. He coughs up a hairball. Happy days. This time what you need to do then is drag it. Ha! Huh, that's funny. But you actually just need to drag it on the to, over to the frog on the left hand side to end this section. Uh, that is just how you end this section by the way. I'm just having a look and seeing what things turn into. Because again the speedrun achievement. Again we do have to do it in an hour and a half. But it is quite generous as you can see. Um, I've messed about in sort of two of these levels, so again, apologies if that's annoying for you, but I just wanted to just have a look. There's nothing wrong with having a little look, is there? So, drag it over to the frog, click on the frog. Come in. Come in. Just click on the frog. Click on the frog. There we go. I, I don't know why. There's no need to do that bit then, so apologies about that, but clicking on the frog, that gets us going, <laughs> apparently. And there's no point in explaining him wherever the hell we are, because I don't know. But we're going to interact with Katie. She's going to take a little sit down. And, uh, again, not a short, not not a, uh, not a long section, of course. So we're just going to interact with the vase on the right there. Pop that one down. Uh, grab the book. We'll drag that one down as well. Now, the hooks we can't interact with. But we need to interact with the mushroom at the top there for the sleeping worm. Interact with the fish. And what we actually need to do is, there's a flying thing in the background we need to grab as well. So, in order to get the worm, we need to drag this dragonfly thing with the sock, we need to drag him down. So, as soon as you see him come more forth, we can drag the sock out, and that goes on the floor. And then, only then, can we drag the worm, and give him... <laughs> well, now he definitely did. Right, drag the hook, uh, or the blanket, put it on the hook, and now we can interact with the fish once more. There is a key, we'll just use that for a little bit later on. So, that's another boot. We basically need to get a couple of boots and socks. Boots and socks and boots and socks. Right, interacting with the fish. Um, apparently it grows arm's leg and then nips off. Grab the key, use it on the top right on the mushroom. There is another key just in the bottom right uh, sort of chest of drawers or whatever next to Katie. Drag that one, that is another boot so we can just leave that there for the time being. You're wondering where the hell this is supposed to be, but I'll show you. Right, interact with old slobhead right there. He's going to put us to sleep again. 
which I will take. Wish I could use that on my uh, four-month-old son, but apparently that'll probably be abuse and everyone would cry about it, so better not. Better not do a sleeping potion like that. Interact with the blue thing again. That turns into a four-legged seti thing who needs some socks and boots. Luckily, we've got one from the dragonfly thing earlier, so drag that over to the seti. So interact with the blue thing again. He's going to drop his hat. The little magic one's going to appear. Uh, but we can click on the hat. That disappears. Click on the magic one to open up the book. That's going to be another sock. Drag that boy over. Drag the boot over from the floor and from the top right-hand corner. And finally, the last boot is just in the foreground, in the forefront of the foreground, behind this old bellendy looking mushroom. Well, I mean, we can click on the uh, blue thing again if you want, but that makes some difference. Uh, we'll click on the mushroom. Bagger off, mate. We just need the cap or the boot, please. So, there's the boot. And that's that bit done. Now we can click on the seti and go for a little wonder, as it were. It's getting even stranger. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, I, I, I guess thanks for the lift. So, click on the seti, and the seti, the the lovely looking seti, uh, apparently is going to poop out this hook. So, yeah, thanks very much for that. So, click on that again, and off she goes. Click on the leaves there, just in the background, to reveal a hidden gas can. Now, we can interact with the snail and the cat. And if we go over to the left, interact with the cat first, then go over to the left to reveal this hidden cucumber type thing with a gun. Uh, don't, don't worry about the two holes yet. Uh, we'll come back to that. Interact with the snail, and then we're going to grab a hidden gem. It's basically the forefront of the screen there. Make sure to grab this third hidden gem. It's very sneakily well hidden in the grass. So again, grab that hidden gem before moving on. You can interact with the cat, and this weird mushroom is going to appear. So we click on him once. Click on him again when he stops showing off like a douchebag. Oh, he, well, actually, he helps us out by whapping out that old derp snail. So, grab the hook from just behind Katie and use it on the rope on the right. Interact with that. That's going to get old Mushroom <laughs> all naked. Give Katie the blanket. She's going to <laughs> get the, well, we'll call him the Lewis Hamilton Mercedes these days. Um, from here, what you can do is just interact with the hook again. That gets his hat this time, or his Mushroom head. Who knows? Mushroom were bald. So he basically wants to be Lewis Hamilton from 2014 to 2021. Uh, but just grab the thing off the hook, give it to the guy on the very left. He's going to throw the helmet over to Mushroom Head. By the way, the snail is basically going to be Lewis Hamilton uh, of 2022. Formula 1 fans would get that. So grab the helmet from the top Mushroom thing, put it on the snail, and then give the Mushroom guy his hat back. Another one will appear. So grab the jug off that, put it in the snail's mouth. Then grab the gas can we found uh, in the hidden leaves um, earlier on, just behind the mushroom right there. And then what we actually need to do is grab it and use it in front of the mushroom on the left. But for some reason, you actually have to click it on the mushroom in order to get that to work. Uh, we need a key. Um, so grab the key from the left-hand side leaf. Make sure to interact with the leaf first. Then grab the tap. Then we can put that down. Interact with the tap. And then we have some fuel. Now we can use it on the snail. And again, dude thinks he's about to win seven world championships. As it turns out, he's barely, he's going to get a couple of lucky podiums in the first couple of races of 2022. Right, so we're not quite, <laughs> quite done with this again. Formula One fans will know. So interact with the mushroom that's just appeared. Not quite there yet. What you have to do is grab the gun at the very top left hand corner where the spy mushroom is. Give it to that mushroom. He's going to shoot. Everyone's going to shit a brick. Oh, there it is. And then it's lights out and away we go. And Lewis Hamilton <laughs> finishes P10 in Saudi Arabia. Ah, oh, fuming. Do we get any points for that? Where? Sorry, it's just... As a Formula 1 fan who hasn't particularly enjoyed the Mercedes domination since 2014, it's hilarious to see them all struggle and see them all pissed off. 
Because it's easy to smile and have fun when you're winning seven years in a row, isn't it, Toto Wolf? Lewis Hamilton, huh? Valtteri Bottas getting out of the way out of every order. I <laughs> know, they're struggling. And it's funny to see. And I know, I know, all Mercedes fans are going to cry and go, oh, human error champion, blah, blah, blah. But still, it's hilarious to me. So, nothing else to do here. Again, we're just watching the Mercedes just um, try and <laughs> catch a break. A couple of lucky podiums. Since apparently Red Bull have built a fast car that can't finish races. Anyway, no more about Formula 1, sorry. No more. You don't want to hear about Formula 1, do you? No. <laughs> I'll just keep that to myself. So, now we are in this new area. We need to interact with the snail. He's basically dead and done for. So, a couple of things we're going to do. There's a, like if it's a cattail or something on the right. We need to interact with him. There is also a cattail on the left, which we need to interact with as well. So, do that. And there's going to be two of those. Uh, click on one, he's going to um, throw a lever over, but we'll come back to them in just a bit. Grab this thing and grab it over to the left to reveal a hidden cat. Then drag that wind-up toy thing and drag it over to the right. That's going to reveal this worm type thing. So a bit of back and forth we have to do here. So, interact with the worm, he wants that lever. So, derp cat, if you wouldn't be so, if you wouldn't mind so much. No, you've got to leave that lever there. We just need to grab it off the cats. There we go. Stick that into where the worm wants you to. It's exactly right where the sun don't shine. Right in front of him. I said the sun don't shine up here by the looks of things. Grab the lever from uh, just in front of us. Grab it over so he's good to go. Grab the drink from the left. Put it over to the right. Go ahead and interact with the worm so he starts drinking. And then interact with the cats when he does... When you do that, uh, worm, he will start lifting us up a bit. So... Well, cheers for that, mucker. <clears throat> Much appreciated. Reveals one of those hidden lazy trumpet things you could probably just squish. But there we go. Uh, right, interact with the cat again. And they're just going to hide for just a two set for a couple of seconds. Drag the uh, this little speaker. Uh, in fact, we can leave the speaker there. For the time being, but what we need to do then is grab the drink again from Wormy and give it over to the left hand side cat. The reason being we need flying cat to come towards us. So drag that over to the left. And then we can get cat to drink that boy. Okay, and then what, what's going to happen then is little mushroom man's going to appear. He is going to, um, in fact we need to drag the speaker down onto the trumpet first when he stops playing. Stop playing, goddammit. So drag the speaker... And eventually we can just give it to Mushroom Head. There we go. Now we can click on the mushroom. Go on, bagger off, Sam. He moves that. Then we... Basically, the cat just needs headphones. Behind where he was sitting is the headphones. Drag him over to the cat. Then we can interact with the... Um, the, the sort of hidden hole just by the cat to reveal an aerial. And we can grab the um, light on the left-hand side and drag that over to the top. Sorry, I was looking for the speaker again, but that's gone. Uh, so when that happens, drag the drink over from the left to the right, interact with the worm again, and he's going to start doing some <laughs> some little controlling. That's sort of going to go up and down, drag the drink from the right to the left, interact with the cat again for a little slurpy slurp. And then we can interact with the cats again. I don't think the cats actually do anything this time, so I think we're all good for that. Uh, but I think the cat's basically going to tell his pal to start flying towards us. And with the wormy as well, a little bit of signals going on. That, <clears throat> that makes us good to go now. So, there we go. Cat appears. Bop, job done. Let us click on Katie to drag him over. And that's this level complete. So, we go again. So, we need to interact with the valve to get the blueberry up. Interact with Katie there on the left to get her down. Now, what we actually have to do is interact with Katie to go down once. And then we have to interact with uh, Blueberry Quiffhead in order to basically get himself accidentally knocked out. Hilariously. Ah, ha, ha. 
exactly blue blue quiff head right grab the spanner and then drag it down to the left right there in order to unlock this boy we are going to grab the sort of pipe and the water valve so drag the water valve put it up to the top put the pipe on the bottom also before moving on interact with the same hole after we interact with the valve right there so we interact with the valve then interact with the same hole to get the third pink eye so again interact with that twice to make it appear and disappear and then that should be good to go. Grab a teardrop and wake up your old blueberry pal. And then he's realized, wait, I'm in the nude. I've got no trousers on, man. Where's, where's my clothes, bro? I've only got shoes on. Anyway, he's going to trip over and knock himself out again like an absolute derp bag. And we've got <laughs> like a kung, kung fu master or Shao, Shaolin master, whatever. Interact with Dirt Bird for him to go to the bottom. Interact with him again. He's going to uh, wake up this angry dinosaur puppet looking thing. So interact with dinosaur puppet thing and use the spray on derpy bird. Well, he's coming handy, I'll give him that. Since he got rid of the big fat elephant boy. Now we can drag that spray. So drag the spray. Again, kind of finicky sometimes, but drag it over to the old blueberry and smash that one up. Now he will be awake. Now we have to get through old kung fu jelly bean. Apparently, it looks more like a jelly bean with a nacho on his head than anything with a great mustache though. So, what we have to do, interact with the big thing on the right-hand side. Uh, we can't actually do anything yet. So, interact with that, and it's going to turn into this. <laughs> Something else. But what's going to happen is we've got two balloons. Hello, lady. Right, so, first thing we need to do, then, is um, interact with her again. She'll do, like, a little shimmy, shimmy, shake, shimmy. And then we can grab the harp, which is just on the right of her sort of belt. Whatever that is, you want to call it that. So we're going to go have a little song. Ho, 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 Say ho, ya. Don't worry about interacting with the Kung Fu Jelly Bean. We don't need to do that just yet. Just interact and wait for the beautiful song to finish. There she goes. She drops that. Right, now we can click on Blueberry Head. Oh, we can click on the balloon, sorry. I uh, thought we had to click on Blueberry. We've got to click on the balloon. Now we can click on Blueberry Head. And it's just going to shove that straight in the mouth of Jelly Bean. The old Kung Fu Jelly Bean. And that gets us... Well, apparently that gets us through. Of uh, uh, course, walking around him couldn't have been an option for some particular reason. So walking forward now, we've got a safe, an angry looking safe. With, again, a Kung Fu sort of... Well, he looks more like a Kung Fu Worm. So we interact with the Kung Fu Worm. Grab the fish off his tongue. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we'll do that then. So grab the Kung Fu Worm, grab the fish off his tongue, and then feed it to Derp Bird in the right-hand corner. Apparently he's going to turn into Popeye and get his steroids out again. Interact with the Derp Bird. He's going to go nuts. Immediately grab the key and then drag it over. Uh, so you can only do that when Derp Bird jumps on the safe's head, by the way. So grab the key off the Worm's tongue. Interact with that, safe, grab the gun, drag it over to Katie, and then he is going to crap his pants even though he is made of metal, and he would actually shoot us to death, so there we go. Right, now to get through this bit, all we have to do, we actually have to click on him first, and then we can just interact with the balloon. I don't know if you have to actually interact with uh, Blueberry Head, you do. So you actually have to interact with Blueberry Head for him to grab the balloon, then drag the balloon over, and that is our Take it out of here again, boys. So, there we go. Now we can just carry on walking on beautifully. We can grab the umbrella. And then, after this little bit, just drag KD to get away down. And away we go again. Okay, next up then, we've got, this is basically an elevator we need. So, immediately grab the peacock feather, use it on the left-hand side to tickle the balls off Blueberry Head. He'll jump down, and then we can click on him, and he'll sort of go nuts and break this gate open for us. Lovely, after we interact with him again there. So, a couple of things that have gone missing. So, grab the flower just above it, and feed it to Fat Boy, the old cat, and then drag the big... Uh, leaf from the left, the big petal, sorry, and dra drag that over to feed the cat again. Drag the gear cog, use it on the shaft, 
uh, which Blueberry Head just broke. Next, grab the watering can, use it under the tree just to the right of Katie. Click up the cloud for him to go over once. And then drag the um, flower and use it on the cloud. That will uh, bleh, put water, that's what I was after, into the watering can, which is, of course, what we need. Um, drag uh, the watering can. In fact, no, use the peacock thing. Tickle the vase on the left-hand side for some reason, and that gets someone very excited. You, uh, interact with him and the pot in the background. In fact, we've just come back to him. So use the watering can on the plant, the big strawberry plant in front of us. It's sort of in the middle of the screen. Oh, raspberry plant, sorry, in the middle of the screen. Then we can use it on the snake in the tree. And then that's where we can grab the gear cog. Use that on the right-hand side, hand, right -hand side shaft again. Interact with the cloud for him to go to a further left. Then use the flower again. Use that on the cloud. And that's going to get Katie being all like, Hey, sons of bitch, stop making me wet. Then we can use the leaf. And then we can just use that on the cloud. In fact, no, we don't have to. We just interact with the cloud once uh, to get him back over. Grab the raspberry. Use him in the pot on the left-hand side vase. And he's going to be all like, well, I don't know, but that's going to happen. Um, grab the little piece and use that on the right-hand sh side shaft again. And then <laughs> interact with that eye in the hole once more. No, oh, in fact, actually, you need to water him, so yeah, apologies. So water him, that gets out another piece. So we can use that with the right-hand side shaft above the elevator as well. Go back down to that same hole. There is an eye. That's the fourth out of six eyes. So again... Press A to interact with it, and then press A to make it disappear again, so that should be the fourth one. Grab this other piece just above the cat's head, and that is how we do that section. He gives us the key, and we are on our way. That is as easy as hell. And again, again, apologies that this is quite fast-paced, um, and me trying to explain things, trying to keep up and everything, but it's because of that son of a monkey in friggin' speedrun achievement, which just... <laughs> it just sucks danky balls, doesn't it? Remba. So, another easy section. But what you have to do then, you don't actually wait until we go to a room. You actually have to click on this weird potato thing twice. And he'll basically stop it. And then he'll open the door. So, you don't wait for anything. You just click on the potato elevator guy twice. And then these weird characters are going to come back through. Now, I'm not sure if you actually have to interact with these characters or if you can just go straight down the elevator. But I end up... Uh, th I think you might have to. So, interact with the characters once, at least. Um, again, there's so much weird stuff that goes on. You don't actually know if you actually have to. Um, or we can just carry on um, with the elevatoring. So, I interact with the, each character that comes through once, just in case. Uh, but then we can just click on the potato once. Just click on him straight away again in order for us to go to the next room. And then he can just go away. Uh, so, interact with the potato again here, of course, in order for him to open up the ting. Open up the doors. And then we can click on the card. Go on, boy. Get your bun sacks out of here, man. Go on. I have it. Go on. You angry little bastard. Right, click on the potato once and then again in order for us to go. And then we're going to click on him again and then again to go to the next room. <laughs> ah, but it's all broke. So what we need to do then is we need to interact with the hammer at the top, drag it over to the Buttons at the right hand side. That'll fix that. Job is a good one. We carry on. So again, click on the super potato or the, uh, the the watered up potato until we get to the next room. Right. Interact with him again. He's going to open up the doors, of course. And what's going to come through now? God damn, that's an angry looking kind of business guy, I suppose. So again, interact with Katie right here. And potato's going to go. Now, again, not sure if you actually have to interact with each thing once, but again, I just do it once at least. It's at least just to show you what sort of happens. So, we interact with the potato again, and bing, and get him out of here as well. Oh, 
Ah, uh, god damn it, son. Horton, here's a who is back. So we interact with the uh, elephant right there to get him in. And then we think, how the hell are we going to do this? So interact with him again. He's just going to mess around with all the buttons. Um, uh, you'll get this achievement randomly. This is just for poking. Uh, basically pressing the A button a hundred times. So you'll get that one randomly. If you don't have it yet, don't worry. You will get that a bit later on. So as soon as we interact with Super Potato, um, we can interact with him again. Just basically to... <laughs> where we actually inter have to interact with Katie there to get him to stop and get him out. What? Get. We don't take kindly to you folks around here. Big blue elephants. Right, interact with the carpet on the floor. Now we actually have to do a bit of fixing in order to finish the level. So, um, there's a pin here on the right hand side. We don't need that just yet. Um, well, we get that thrown back anyway. There's also a gear cog which we were using just a moment. Uh, so when we get our bent elevator hook thing back, use that with the elevator, or the sort of thing at the bottom there. Then grab the hammer from the top, use that on the floor. That is going to um, hook up the elevator thing. We can drag that up to the top right corner. Use the gear cog, and this time we can use that in. That's basically going to get it to start. Use the hammer again. Pop, pop, pop. Apparently that's what hammers sound like now. Um, and then just interact with the elevator, and that is as good as Nuggety Golden Nugget. Oh, nobody told me it would be raining, although in this weird land that we're in, that kind of smell funny. So, uh, well, I don't mind. So again, a couple of things to do before we get to the kind of awkward sort of next area. And I will explain why it's a bit awkward just after we finish this. Uh, of course, no point getting too ahead of myself, as it were. So here we go then. Interact with that thing to get it up and then uh, use the stick there to keep it uh, held up. On these sort of lily pads, there is one piece. And in fact, there's three pieces here. So from the very right hand side, grab that. Next, we'll try and grab that, but it actually falls into the water. Behind Katie is a leaf, and on the very top leaf, this whatever the hell that is pops out. So you interact with him, tickle his balls for a bit, um, and then just drag the... There's another piece there that's just on a lily pad. You need to grab that, use it on the horn. That gets him going. We can interact with the elevator then, just to get that moving once more. Um, and Basically, we have to interact with the elevator there because the next lift is... Somebody is going to give us a bunch of scissors, which is, which is exactly what we're going to need. So as soon as it opens up, there's nothing to do just yet. That's why I'm just messing about. Now go to the elevator as there is a set of scissors. So come in. There we go. Grab the scissors. Right. From here, we're going to use it on the left-hand side. The sort of stem right there. So drag that. Grab the scissors and use it on the tall flower on the right. Or sort of in the middle of the screen. Then use the scissors for a third time and get it on the leaf just next to Katie. Next, grab the long stem on the right-hand side. Then grab the short one from the left. Use that on the leaf as well. Next, we can grab that over to the big uh, horn swoggle piece in the middle of the river. In the middle of the river. That just sounds like an old person song. Now we can use it and use it, interact with it there for Katie to use that. And it goes... Ooh. Don't know if you can hear it, but that's exactly the noise it makes, because that's just talented. Right, up comes this um, cat. We're going to interact with it. He's going to start licking things for some reason. So dra drag the sort of onion apple thing that is just there. Um, I don't know if you... No, you can just drag it on the lily pad, then interact with the cat. And he is going to give us a piece of birthday cake, which of course, as we know, enlarges things. Hmm. Better than a Viagra pill, that one. Um, anyway, use the uh, cake on the uh, on ourselves in order to get the umbrella to make it large. There we go. Oh my god. Then we can just interact with the cat. He's going to nip over. Of course, he should nip down since we gave him the apple. Again, it's so weird, but there's so many things that are going on. <laughs> so there we go. Give Katie the row, and then we can row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Right, the next level... Now, there is an achievement for collecting all of the stars, but I'm not sure if it's a timed section, as in, basically, after a couple of minutes, there's going to be, like, a weird cat train that uh, appears by. I'm not sure if you 
basically collect all the stars and then the train appears, or if you have to collect all the stars before the train appears. So, to get the achievement for collecting all the stars, um, if the train appears before you do that, you can just restart the level and you, then you can collect all the stars and you'll get the achievement as well. That's how I actually got it. So, collect the one star from the left and just to the left of you. Then there is one in the middle of the lily pad. Then just to the right of it on a stem. And on to the next two lily pads there on the right. So make sure to grab those two and the one that the worm's holding. There's a three that are just in the middle of the screen right there. And one that just appears on a flower. On to the left is another one. And onto the right, just in the middle of the screen again, to the bottom, is another one. Move the umbrella for another star. Sorry, again, having to be quite quick with this one. Then we can interact with the eye at the top right-hand corner to get another star. Interact with the hedgehog and grab these two stars. There we go. And in the middle of the screen of the background is another one. Uh, bottom left on the fish is another star. Grab, uh, Interact with the worm. He's going to give us yet another little star. Uh, interact with the pebble there, just by Katie, and get another one. Interact with the worm again for a third star from him. And then what we can do is interact with the lily pad, the second one. Sort of from left to right, one to six, that's another star. Interact with the eye at the top right hand corner for another one. Now interact with the first star, the very left one, for a uh, lily pad for another star. Paper boat should appear, grab that for another star. Click on the hedgehog to get him to bagger off. Interact with the, star, the lily pad, the fourth one. Um, to get another star then what we're going to actually do is grab the there's a star on the top left hand corner as well So make sure to grab that and then grab those two which should fall Off now. There's another one from the fish on the left hand side Next use the fourth lily pad again to collect a hidden gem So make sure to click the hidden gem from the fourth lily pad So do that one twice again a bit of an edit there um, so apologies about that, but then next grab the star from the right top right hand corner and then click it in front of Katie there to grab that And uh, she's gonna lick that for some reason So we need to click on Katie a couple of times there just to get that star up uh, Interact with this uh, flower a couple of times But you'll be able to see these sort of shimmer and shines now when you interact with those a whole bunch of stars will appear So this so the shining star on the left and the right should appear and then the cat's face here should appear in the stars another one just to the left of the cat and Then there will be I believe just the one left from the worm. Nope worms all done worm is all done uh, So interact with this flower here in the background So again, I do Interact with that it, it, it seems to not make too much of a difference But after interacting with that flower the cat's face will change grab the star here from the flower now as you can see the the um uh, train is coming in the background. So again, I am not sure not entirely sure if this is a timed section And you have to collect the stars, but like I said you won't see me unlock the achievement because I restarted the level once Started collecting the stars again, and then I got the achievement So it could be a case of that you have to collect uh, as we uh, click on Katie here to get uh, on our way so I believe what I think it might be that you have to collect a certain amount of stars. Um, yeah, it's a tricky one. So apologies that I'm not entirely sure. So again, not entirely sure if that's a time section and you have to collect the stars before the train comes. Uh, but again, if that does happen, you can just restart the level and go again and you will get the achievement that way. Um, yeah, so... A, a bit of a tricky one, and again, apologies for explaining it a bit quick, but of course we've got speedrun achievements to think of. So yeah, so when we get to the next section, anyway, we're going to interact with Derpy Bird, and we need to basically the coin in his mouth. Um, so, grab the pebble, give that to Katie. So again, in the last area, what you should have got was the hidden gem and the achievement as well. So make sure you got those two before moving on. With, when this whistle comes out, grab it to Katie. And then interact with the bin to get rid of this apple. Use it on the mouse on the left hand side. Then we can drag the bin, drag it over to the left where Katie's standing. Ah, we got some nice glasses as well. Some 3D laser death glasses. So use them on the cookie monster. Dirt bird's going to drop the coin. And job done. So next what we're going to do, there is a plate just in cookie monster's bag. There we go. Grab that, we're going to put that on the uh, bin, the upside down bin. Next, drag the coin and drag it into the milk. Of course, on the left hand side, nobody else is going to have that, so we'll use it for some milk. Somebody get him some milk. 
Drag the milk, use it on the plate, and then we can interact with the uh, open door on the left, or the open whatever. Uh, Cat uh, is going to drink it as soon as we interact with Cat again. Not KT, the actual cat. Come on. Okay, sorry, there we go. So, there you go, drink that. He is deliciously full. That questionable milk is uh, really nice. Coughs up another hairball. So, now what we need to do is just use it on... Well, we need to actually use it on the sign just behind us. That That is for a particular reason. Again, you can use it on other things as well if you want, just to take a look. We've got derp horse and everything again. Uh, but we need to now give the lollipop, basically, to Cookie Monster on the right-hand side. So, just go ahead and do that. Um, again, I thought you had to do something more with the hairball. So, again, apologies that sometimes uh, I've shown using the hairball on quite a lot of things, if you think that's just wasting a bit of time. I do apologise, um, especially if you've just had to pause the video until uh, we get to the actual point. Um, but yeah, yeah, so again, apologies about that. But for now, we can now grab the hairball, use it on the bag on the right-hand side, and then just interact with the bag again, and that actually finishes this area off. Okay, okay, so this is a bit of a fun one. So, I'm going to look around. We basically have to do a lot of things with potions. <clears throat> um, and obviously, you have to get the, the potions to the right people, or the right things in order to progress. So, what we're actually going to do, I do end up grabbing the potion from the right hand, top right hand corner here, but we don't. <laughs> Uh, that's not the one we actually need. The one we need is uh, the green one, I think, right next to the cat. Then interact with the cat to use the key. Uh, I do try using the key on the door, but it doesn't work. No, no fit, thank you. What we need to do, right by Katie on the table, use that on Katie, then grab the key and use it with the weird thing that we've turned into now. Uh, so he makes that nice and small, apparently. Then we can grab the key. And then use it on the door. So that opens up the cat flap for us. We can't actually crawl through for some reason yet. So use the green potion on Katie to turn it into to turn us into a weird palm tree looking thing. Use the watering can on us. And what that's going to happen is he's going to shoot some uh, <laughs> fruit out at us for some reason apparently. So we're going to use the top right hand potion. And oh well, we'll just try that one again, shall we? To top right hand potion. Use it on. Uh, Katie there to get a crab hand. Use the fruit with Katie's crab hand. And that gets us another squeezy lemon kiwi juice, whatever that is. Uh, potion. Use the yellow potion from the windowsill to turn us into a fat opera singer. We can click the cat away. Don't worry about that. We need to grab the potion. After we click on Katie, you start singing. Uh, why are all opera singers... Why do they think all opera singers are fat, by the way? That's, that's a stereotype and somebody will get offended by that, probably. So, when we grab the, the uh, potion there... And break the glass. We can now use the blue one on the table. Use that to get Katie nice and tall. Um, click on Katie to walk her forward. Interact with the book to reveal another hidden potion, which we can now use on Katie. Turns into like an ice cube KKK looking snowman. Uh, whatever the hell that is. Use the horn thing. The big tall horn to freeze the safe. And then we can get rid of the book and reveal another hidden gem. So make sure to pick that one up again. Interact with it twice. That is the uh, second to last hidden gem we can use. Next, we can give the stone to Katie. She's going to smash open that to reveal a gem, which isn't a hidden gem. But it is the one that we need. So grab the green one from Katie's head to turn her into the queen. Then we can use the gem on us. And then that's going to spice up this potion. Right on the couch in front of us. So use that on KT. That turn turns us into small being. And then we can click on her and she is out of it. Again, skip the next cutscene and away we go. Ah, oh, 10 minutes or so left. It's been an experience, hasn't it? So this is the second to last room, finally. So when we click on Katie, 
what we're going to do then is interact with the bookshelf a couple of times to reveal a tennis ball. So click on that a few times. And then um, what we need to do is interact with the bin just in the back corner. We need to grab that piece of paper, which has just fallen out. And we need to use it actually on Katie or Katty. Whatever part of the world you're from. Or Katya. I don't know, I'm just making crap up now. Grab the eraser from the chalkboard, give that to Katie as well. We're going to throw that at the scientist. Uh, and then we can use the tennis ball. Use that with Katie, who throws it in turn once again to the scientist. But man, this dude ain't falling. But what it does give us is a little remote. Nice. Click on that to uh, start the remote up. And it gets, I don't know, Pingu, who's had a bit of a downgrade by the looks of things. So now we can interact with the couple of things um, in order to grab the battery. Put that into the contraption, or the, the sort of thing on the right-hand side, to grab this piece of paper out. And then we can get Pingu's nose. <laughs> Pingu's nose. We're going to give that to Katie. And then we're going to give the sheet... Uh, well, after we interact with... <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so when we interact with Katie, she, accident uh, she actually gives us out this crocodile. Now we can give the sheet music to the crocodile thing. A uh, little, little scene's going to happen right here. So we can interact with the crocodile again. Again, the scientist craps his pants, but he's not falling. We interact with the scientist, and he gives us... Well, he doesn't give us actually anything, but we are going to give him the remote control back. Click on him again in order to uh, start that up. And basically, Pingu nips down. And we've got the... Oh, it's our missus that we once pulled on a night out. Uh, so she's back. She actually fallen in love with someone else. So let's let's sort her out, is it? The Impaler, we want... Oh, she's actually imprisoned someone, right. So, interact with the scientists anyway. Let's just get rid of her. <laughs> so, after you interact with the scientists, she starts going down. Well, we could have married you as well, but you impaled my butt bags, mate. My, both my butt cheeks are impaled. So, uh, here is the giraffe candle. So, when you interact with the scientist there, that puts him on fire. And we can just interact with the scientist again. He just sort of runs off to the right-hand side. Tidy Bob. All right, interact with scientist again. He's going to push the button. Uh, platform's going to nip down. La, 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 la. Just waiting, waiting. And then we've got... God damn it, it's holding here as a who, but he's taking a dump this time. Apparently he needs some toilet roll. He should have nipped to the shop before 4 o'clock, mate, before they shut. On a Sunday, anyway. So, keep interacting with uh, the chain... And eventually, after the third time, he's going to flush the toilet. He's going to flush himself down. But goddamn, we need some spray for that, bruh. <laughs> so, just at the forefront, as you can see there, interact with the sort of spray bottle a couple of times. Sort of twice, and then interact with the scientists. And, um, yeah, apparently that gets rid of the old stinking housing. Oh. Right, now we've got kind of a uh, Brazzers situation going on right here. And you'll know exactly what I mean by the red couch. Um... Oh, wait, that... <laughs> nah, never mind. Right, now we can just click on the red couch, click on the scientist, and that is us gone. Now we are on to the final level of the game, the psychiatrist's office. So as you can see, um, in terms of the speedrun achievement, I've sort of messed about with quite a few things in terms of having a look at other, uh, different things and uh, waiting for a few seconds here, there, and everywhere. And we are comfortably within the one hour and a half limit. Uh, this... Level takes, again, another two, three minutes, so we are comfortably within the limit. So hopefully you are around there as well. Um, yep, give me it. Right, first thing to do, interact with the eyeball on the left-hand side bottom and the pebble, which we don't actually need just yet. So interact with the eye um, again. That's going to sort of shift his perspective a bit. And then what we could do, interact with this jewel on the top right-hand corner and use it on the light lamp. Um, and eventually, after interacting with the shell, this cookie monster will appear. He is obviously wanting a cookie. So, interact with this uh, rope tie, which is on the right by the ladder. Use that to tie the curtain. Give the cookie to the cookie monster. He is the happier bunny today. Yeah, he better be. Next, grab the... or interact with the sort of clock on the bottom right-hand corner and the blue button there as well. So you should get out Dirt Bird and Cookie Monster will appear with a key. So grab the key from Cookie Monster to interact with the safe, which grabs the bell. And we can use the bell on the right-hand side just underneath the clock and ring up that. Uh, interact with the blue button again in order for this final hidden gem to appear. So as soon as that appears, you should now get the achievement. That should be six out of six. 
And the rare achievement, which is beautiful, and that will appear and call it the gem, ho gem hoarder. Just underneath the window as well is the next and final eye. So as you can see, just underneath the window, very well hidden again, sort of. Uh, interact with that. Kind of finicky, this one. But interact with that just a couple of times. Come in, come in. And there we go. So as soon as you've do, done that, you should then get both of the collectible achievements for finding all of the gems and all of the eyes as well. So hopefully you've got those two all squared away beautifully. Right, after you interact with the cat here, we're going to start talking. There's nothing you can do for this bit. We just, uh, well, we just keep on talking. Uh, you can click, I'm not sure, I don't think you can click things to make faster, things faster. She's just going on about her experience. And what in the hell? hell has actually just gone on which if you need to see a therapist after playing this game i wouldn't blame you Doctor, doctor, I had this weird dream where I took a bunch of acid and stuff and ended up in this meow meow land with Dwayne Johnson fat looking heads and <laughs> big cock heads and all types of crap going on. And apparently this is all a dream as well. So as soon as when after we start talking, all you gotta do is interact with the weight and this is basically the end of the game. So keep clicking on that. Again, not sure, I think that's all just plays out automatically anyway. But this is basically the end of the game. So now, providing of course that you've done it in under an hour and a half, you will unlock the light speed achievement for finishing the game in 90 minutes, and the home sweet home achievement as well. There it is. So now we should only have one achievement left, which we will be getting in the credits. So, um, God, <laughs> honestly, I'd love to know your thoughts on this game. I would honestly love to know your thoughts on this game. You know, a big shout out. Uh, <laughs> to the guys over at Artillery for uh, providing me a code for this game. But honestly, man, this was an experience, I'm telling you. Right, so to get the final achievement then, what we have to do is just place the jewels on each head. And that is the end of that. Basically looking kind of like a bunch of whole Pep Guardiolas um, right now and whatever the hell they are. So grab the green, uh, the bottom green one, put it in the sort of middle statue. Uh, the... At the very right hand side, put it on the um, sort of middle statue on the right again. Then grab this yellow or orange one, put it on the top right corner one. The bottom left one, put it on these uh, pyramid, sort of triangle one. The one that was just, uh, or the diamond there, just to the sort of on the top left hand side. Um, or on the very left, sorry, that's what we're going to do first. Dra drag it on the U and then the, <laughs> the green one. Or we're we going to grab the diamond in front of Pep. Yeah, so grab this diamond on the bottom right-hand corner. Put that one there. And then there's only two left. So grab the um, sort of one that is on the right. Sort of on the right middle, if you want to call it that. Put it on the bottom left, I believe. Yes, the bottom left. And then the final one is the green one right there at the bottom of the screen. As soon as we've done that, that will be the achievement called Heads. Uh, apparently they all turn into pig noses and stuff, so... <laughs> Just to add a little bit more here towards the end again, but there we go then, guys and gals. So that should be a 13 out of 13. Honestly, I am baffled. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Again, let me know what the hell you thought of that in the comments section below. But again, I do hope you enjoyed the guide. And that, it was helpful. I know it was quite fast-paced and everything, so I do hope that it helped a lot. Um, again, apologies if it was kind of a struggle to keep up with sometimes. I do apologize. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, shout out to everyone who continues to support me on uh, Patreon. Uh, thank you so, so much again. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Ba 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 big love. Man, I need to lie down. Gee, must mice